Indeed it is. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Ooh. Howard Street Brewing is Chicago's northernmost 37 seat tap room with the flexibility to brew all different styles. Joining us now with a taste of what's on tap is owner and brewmaster Chuck Patella. Thank you so much for being here. Thank yes. you for having me. This is amazing. This oh. is awesome. I love your story too because uh, like, yeah, my, 10 years ago, my husband started mm -hmm. brewing beer in the garage mm -hmm. and it was okay. Yeah. <laughs> my first batch was horrible. Was it Like okay? absolutely horrible. But you yeah. have now evolved into, voila, a brewmaster with your own shop. Absolutely. That's amazing. Uh, I was able to get a one barrel system and put it into this nice. tiny little room up in Rogers Park and it's been going amazingly and we're brewing so many different styles and you know, it's a dream yeah. come true for sure. That so cool. unlike all, many of the abandoned home brewing kits now sitting in garages. Mm -hmm. This sitting in my Home Depot bucket. Yeah. Yep. This was a dream for you. Like, absolutely. What about it, I mean, what about it stuck? So when I brought home my second chest cooler, my <laughs> wife was like, either do it or don't. Oh, <laughs> like, I like no, that. either get it done or don't. Yes. So uh, no, that, that sort of, I just kept buying all this stuff and the beer just kept getting better and mm. I would bring it to the factory theater, which is our neighbor next door, yeah. um, and kegs were leaving empty. So I was Whoa. like, let's see what we can do. All let's right, so let's see shot. what we're gonna drink first. Absolutely, yeah. okay. all right. So we got five beers here. Okay. The first one is our Pilsner. Pilsner. So this beers. is sort of like a Czech style Pilsner. Mm. You were okay. mentioning yep. you were in the Czech just, Republic. Yeah. So. Mm. So, you know, this one's gonna be yeah. very light, very yeah. refreshing. Oh, refreshing. Yeah. Drink yes. it all day. Session yeah. beer. Yeah. Well, absolutely, yes. absolutely. Yeah. So, what I sort of did today was I brought um, beers that feature sort of one main ingredient uh, mm -hmm. for the styles that we're doing. So okay. that was the Better Late Than Never Pilsner. I love that. Okay. All right, and this one is our Saison. Saison. So, with the Saison, the yeast does all the work okay. in this beer. We really focus uh -huh. on letting the yeast sort of shine through. So okay. you're gonna get some banana notes. Ooh, ooh nice. Um, and the oh. thing about this yeast strand is it, we ferment it high at like 80 degrees. Okay. And that's sort of what gives you all the flavor profile okay. that's, that's oh. in there. Mm -hmm. mm. I can smell the banana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, this is very good. Oh yeah. yeah, I like that. So it's got a little funk to it. You guys yeah. were talking about funky yes. earlier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like uh, it's, it's got a little, a little, little bit deeper than the pilsner. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. The mm -hmm. base malt profile is pretty much the same. Okay. Um, but we're definitely, we're letting the yeast shine through on that guy. Well, we okay. have to drink it all because well, you know, this is what yeah. he's using to pour. Yeah, I'm so right. sorry. I'm so okay. sorry. It's just no, don't be sorry. Just we appreciate sips. it. Just yes. little sips. What's this up? is why you had me later in the show. Yeah, right? Right. yeah exactly. Yeah. So this is all really small batch because you are a, the smallest tap room, uh, northernmost smallest tap room in Chicago. Yep. Um, so this is really like uh, artisanal. I mean, it's, it's a small batch. Yeah, like, absolutely. Ooh, there's a limited supply. Yes. Right? This is fruity. Yeah. Yes, so this is our mango baby. Okay. So this is our Ooh. sour mango IPA. Ooh. But it's much more mango than it is sour. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, I don't like too sour. No, I don't yeah. either. Yeah. 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 Um, that's so mm -hmm. we actually tried brewing this a couple of different ways and wound up blending back on this. This was like the original this. way we did yeah. it. We kind of changed some things, but we went back to that. Yeah. Because I've had a few sours and they're good, but they're a little too much. Yeah, yeah. you can only yeah. drink yeah. one. I feel like this sour, you, you could, could drink more than yeah. this yeah. one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. We really enjoy that one. Okay. All right, so now we're going to get into our winter tan. This is Ooh. our ginger wit. I and like the thing, that. The thing about this beer, ginger wit. Nice. She's winning. Maybe and you can drink some of this before you have your next surgery. That'll help yeah. you. Uh, yeah, we'll take extra, extra. Take some of that extra pain off. Yeah, there you uh, go. So uh, we really focus mm. on making sure that the ginger's not overpowering this beer, oh, but yes. it's in there. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm. Oh yeah, not too much ginger. Oh, that's good. It's not overwhelming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's Ooh. really light and easy. And it's like a digestive. Yeah. Because, it's, oh. because it's ginger. That's right. It's See? medicinal. See yeah. the wit? Yeah. <laughs> She's brilliant. <laughs> and then the last but not least. All right, last but not least. Red Rye Redemption. Okay. Oh. Okay. Ooh, so I do like a darker beer too. Yeah, so this is our Red Rye PA. Where's so, the redemption come, back, come in? To so I, I'm a video game nerd, <laughs> uh -huh. so Red Dead Redemption is one of my favorite games oh, of all hilarious. time. Okay. So we call this one Red Rye Redemption. Red okay. Rye. So this has rye malts in it. There's going to mm -hmm. be a little bit more spice than your average IPA but you're okay. still gonna get that hot profile. Oh yeah, that's good, good too. Oh, these are good. And I think it's cool is you and your wife kind of partnered up on this, although she's not necessarily in the beer side <laughs> right. as much. Right, absolutely. Yes. She does not drink beer at all, actually. Okay. Oh, yeah. wow. I'll okay. get her to try it sometimes, yeah. but she's more of a wine It's girl. a hobby just for you, honey. It yes. is, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. But you guys are, so her theater, co-artistic co director, yep. correct, for the yep. theater next door, I'm sorry, which theater it's was it? It's the Factory Theater. The Factory Theater, mm -hmm. so yep. that's wonderful, so that people stop by, grab a beer on their way into the theater. Yep. And we're actually connected, so you can get a to-go cup and just bring it into 
the oh, theater and then bring back into the brilliant that's, that's, idea. That's a good setup. And you guys really are, are focused on community, think, bringing people in the space, conversations. Absolutely. The, the way that the bar is set up, um, there's no TVs. Like, we don't do Thank sports, you. any of that yeah, stuff, thanks. right? Um, but we're really focused on the bar is built. It's a small space, but the bar is built. Everybody's facing each other. Oh, cool. So when you come in, you're bound to make a friend by the time you leave, yeah. which is really cool. Great. Everybody just connects there and I've seen so many relationships develop yeah, it's been awesome. That I is like really that's fun. That's the tr tradition of a beer hall because that's what oh, it's absolutely. about. Absolutely. It's about actually going in and yes. talking. Sitting at the bar and talking yeah. to people. Sit down, have a conversation, have some beers. And how often do you change them? Yeah. Uh, we, because we're on such a small system, we have the ability to just rotate oh, through all different styles wow. all the time. Wow. So we have 12 beers on tap right now, mm -hmm. um, but we have some of our staples, like the Red Rye Redemption is mm -hmm. one of our staples. Um, what are your hours? We are open Tuesday through Sunday uh, until about ten, like 5 to 10 most of the time. Okay. And then Saturday and Sunday is Saturdays 12 to 11, and Sunday is 12 to 8. It's like new meaning of micro brew. Yes. Yeah. I, I, micro we might be the smallest in Chicago. Micro, yeah. micro. Micro, micro mm -hmm. brew. I love it. Yeah. Well, Fantastic. There, there is all the information on Howard Street Brewing, 1617 West Howard Street. Thank you, Chuck, so yeah, much for joining fun, us. Chuck. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. it.